Watch kittens and cats at play, and it's easy to see why more and more people each year welcome felines into their homes as pets. Kittens are lively little playmates that with lots of loving attention and proper care, grow up to be beautiful, healthy cats and faithful companions. Whether it's their intelligence or their personality, it's easy to fall in love with them. At Purina, we love cats, and it shows in everything we make. We've devoted over 30 years researching the care and nutritional needs of cats. And we take a positive approach to raising and training cats. Investing some time now to understand your cat's natural instincts will benefit you for years to come. If you follow the suggestions on this tape and take the time to practice and learn to be a good owner, you and your pet can share a lifetime of love. We hope that this information will help you in caring for your feline friend. There are many legends which try to determine the origins of the modern cat, but we know for certain that the house cat has many characteristics in common with his wilder cousins. You just have to watch your cat pounce on a moving target to recognize the predatory instincts within every cat. The long whiskers on your cat protect her eyes and are a sensory tool for her. The slightest whisker movement stimulates nerve endings and provides information about her immediate surroundings. Your cat's whiskers will fall out periodically and will be replaced by new ones. A loss of whiskers can impair your cat's motion and orientation, so you must never trim or cut off her whiskers. Your cat's unique bone structure helps her to climb. Although man is more than 15 times the size of a cat, a cat has more bones, about 204 compared to 106 in man. Besides her unique personality, your cat has her own special identification. Her nose pad is ridged in a pattern as unique to her as your fingerprint is to you. One of your cat's most unusual behaviors is purring. It is believed that purring results from a vibration of the wall of one of the major blood vessels in the chest area. These vibrations, transmitted to the upper air passages, result in the purring sound. Most cats purr when they feel secure and content. However, some also purr when frightened or in pain. Loud or constant meowing often serves as a means of communication between a cat and her owner. So it's a good idea to become familiar with your cat's particular vocal habits. A change in her habit may be her way of soliciting your help. Whether you've just adopted a kitten or cat, or you've had your pet for a while, each needs guidance and consistency. In return for all the love and joy your cat gives to you, you must give him or her what they need. A good home, lots of love and care, proper nutrition, and the training to become a well-behaved companion. Cats are lively and curious, which can lead them into serious trouble unless you take preventive measures. Here are some tips to help prevent mishaps. Securely store cleaning supplies, sewing supplies, sharp objects like nails and staples, poisons, medications, plastic bags, mothballs, and other potentially hazardous materials. Cats are handy little creatures and can open some cabinets. Clean up antifreeze from the garage floor. Its sweet taste attracts cats, and sampling it can be fatal. Some common plants are poisonous to cats. Diefenbachia, azalea, philodendron, and the yew bush are among the most dangerous. Electrical cords should be kept as short as possible or tacked down so your cat won't be tempted to chew on them. Never leave a turned on stove unattended. A cat's curiosity could lead to a serious burn. Securely screen all windows to prevent falls. Cats and kittens love to explore and to sleep in warm, dark places. Always check before you close the door of a closet, oven, washer, clothes dryer, or refrigerator. If you allow your cat outdoors in cold weather, remember, cats like to crawl under the hood and keep warm. Bang on the car hood or honk the horn before starting the engine. If you're getting a new kitten or cat, plan to pick her up when you have a few full days at home so you can visit your veterinarian and become well acquainted with your new pet. You'll want lots of one-on-one -on -one time, which is so important for bonding. 
There are a few things you'll need to purchase for your cat or kitten. A carrier is a must for transporting your cat. While it might not look comfortable to us, cats feel more secure in small places. Choose a carrier that is large enough for an adult cat to comfortably stand up and turn around. The carrier should be well ventilated, secure, and easy to clean. Introduce your cat to her food and water dishes right away. They should be easy to clean and heavy enough not to tip over easily. Place the bowls in a private area, away from interference from children or other pets. Keep plenty of clean, fresh drinking water in your cat's bowl at all times. Later, we'll cover what to put in the food bowls. You will need a cat box, cat box filler, and a scoop, even if you have an outdoor cat. Choose a box that is big enough for an adult cat and deep enough so the litter won't be scattered when your cat scratches the filler. There should be one box for each cat plus one extra box in your home. This will alleviate any stress or conflict between your cats. Choose a high quality brand cat box filler like Tidy Cat or Tidy Cat Scoop. These products are specially formulated to deliver outstanding absorbency and long lasting odor control. The cat box filler you choose should be based on the number of cats in your household and the manner in which you'll maintain the box. To help determine the best products for you, consult the packages or visit the Tidy Cat website. Set up your cat's special place to suit her natural habits. Place the cat box in a very quiet area, away from foot traffic, but where she'll have easy access at all times. Introduce your cat to her place immediately. Keep the box clean and free of waste every day. Cats avoid messy, smelly boxes. Check the package to determine how often you should wash the box, as it depends on the type of filler you use. And remember, always wash your hands thoroughly after handling the box. If you are pregnant, please consult the package warning and litter usage instructions before cleaning a used litter box. Your cat will also need a bed. A roomy cardboard box with a doorway and sides high enough to keep drafts out will do just fine. Or you might select a ready-made cat bed. You might want to place a towel or t-shirt in the bed. Your scent will encourage the cat to sleep there. However, your cat will lay wherever she pleases. So don't be disappointed if your cat doesn't use the bed as often as you'd like. A scratching post is another item you'll want to purchase or make for your cat. It should be sturdy and tall enough to allow your cat to stretch out full length when she's full grown. Place it near her bed so she can use the post when she first wakes up and needs to stretch. Contrary to popular belief, cats do not use a scratching post to sharpen their claws. They use it for exercise, to stretch out to full length, and to clean away dead scales from their nails. They also use it to mark their territory. They do this habitually to leave their scent and show ownership, as cats have scent glands between their toes. You'll need some grooming tools appropriate for your cat's fur. We'll cover grooming a little later. It's also a good idea to have a supply of toys that are fun and safe. Choose toys that can't be splintered, torn apart, or swallowed. Long strings or yarn should be avoided unless you supervise this play.